Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover biotic and abiotic factors of ecosystems. Now remember, an ecosystem is made of living and non-living factors. So biotic means living or once was living. And abiotic means non-living. These biotic and abiotic factors work together in order to create an ecosystem. So let's go through some different examples of each. So we'll start with biotic. And remember, biotic means living factors. So plants, animals, fungi, bacteria, and anything else that you can think of that is living. So over here we have four examples. We'll start with mushrooms. We have a praying mantis, we have some bacteria, and we have some trees, all living factors of an ecosystem. Now let's look at abiotic. Although these factors are non-living things, they are very important to the living thing's survival in that ecosystem. So we have rocks and water, we have sunlight, we have a thermometer there to represent temperature. And lastly, we have sand. So all non-living, very important factors of an ecosystem. So lastly, we have three at the bottom of your screen there that we're going to go through together and determine biotic or abiotic. So the first one there, we have some clouds. I wanted that to represent air. So air would be abiotic non-living. The middle one there, we have a dead tree, so dead organic matter. So it once was living. So if it once was living, it's considered biotic. And then lastly, we have a starfish there, which is not an actual fish, but it is a living thing. So it would be biotic. So there you have it. There's biotic and abiotic factors of ecosystems. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.